On October 12, 2012, the greatest person I've ever known passed peacefully in his sleep. After three years of battling cancer and inspiring thousands to live a better life, my older brother Andrew Wisher was called into paradise. The story of Andrew Wisher cannot be told in just a few sentences, but with faith, courage, and strength, Andrew smiled in the face of an unbeatable disease. The 21-year-old hero refused to quit in his fight and reminded us all that every day is a gift. Before he passed, he asked us to pay forward the kindness and generosity that he and my family had received so much of during his fight. In his honor, we created the Andrew Wisher Foundation. On October 12, 2012, the greatest person we have ever known passed away, but his impact, his mission, his legacy had only begun. The Andrew Wisher Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to supporting families stricken with the burdens of cancer and other life-changing disease. When Andrew was diagnosed, my family and the money that surrounded us quickly realized that on top of being a physical, mental, and psychological struggle, cancer is an extreme financial burden. We created this organization to ease this burden from the many families we will help as much as possible. And we have dedicated ourselves to fulfilling Andrew's one wish by paying forward the kindness and generosity. In honoring Andrew's wish, we are very proud to have helped a number of families thus far, following our few of their stories. My name is Mackenzie Lim. I'm a 14-year-old, and I was diagnosed with leukemia. Mackenzie was, it was around her birthday. It was a couple weeks before her birthday, about 10 days before her birthday. She had volleyball practice like any other day, and she wasn't didn't feel good at practice. Finished practice, came home, had a fever. The fever just wouldn't go away. She didn't have any other symptoms. And um, we went to the doctor once uh, over the weekend. And then on Monday, my wife took her back to the doctor. And long story short, she passed out there. So we went to Christ Hospital and they admitted her and did some tests. And the next day we found out that Mackenzie had leukemia. The first thing that went through my mind was, will I be able to play sports again? That was the first thing that went through my mind. And the second was, I'm not going to die. People don't realize how much this medicine costs. Like there could be one, one chemotherapy that costs like a million dollars. Dollar wise, we're over $2 million. And it's only been since April. I mean, every day Max stays in the hospital, just the room, you know, it's $6,000. If we didn't have that help this year, I don't know really where we would be. Uh, my name is Phil Zarella. Um, my wife, Tracy, was diagnosed in October with a uh, brain tumor. We have uh, four children, that, uh, three of them are the most holy redeemer, and then uh, a one-year-old at home still. She's been off of work two months now, and it's probably going to be at least another four without without her uh, having any income coming in. So it's it's been uh, it's been stressful, but you know it's you know we deal with it. We deal with it, and the community's been the community and, and your foundation has been great and has uh, have have really helped out a lot. They actually donated um, five thousand towards my kids' tuition, which basically um, paid off my kids' tuition for the rest of the school year, which was a huge help. So that's something I don't have to worry about uh, with the tuition till August now. So you know, it's it's been a huge help, huge help. Hi, I'm Jeff Mahalik, treasurer of the Andrew Wisher Foundation, and I'd like to share some highlights from our strategic plan and unaudited financial results. First, let me share some highlights from our three-phase strategic plan. Phase one was all about getting the foundation off the ground, developing a brand, creating and executing a successful fundraising event, securing initial donors, and most importantly, it was about honoring Andrew's wish to pay forward to others in need. In less than 12 months, we've executed an extremely successful musical event in Wishfest developed an impressive list of corporate and individual donors, 
The Andrew Wisher Foundation brand continues to grow with recognition in print, radio, and news media. And most importantly, we've honored Andrew's wish of paying forward the generosity with contributions to many beneficiaries, including a few highlighted earlier in this video. Phase two, which begins immediately in 2014, is about expanding our brand to help more people in need. We believe phase two will be executed over a three to five year time frame and will be driven by two key tenets. First, make Wishfest bigger and better. This year we have contracted a national act, Rodney Atkins, and we'll invest more in production and promotion. We anticipate crowds in excess of 4,000 people. Secondly, we're going to develop an executive board, which extends our geographical and corporate reach. We're targeting, targeting individuals across Chicagoland that have achieved impressive success across multiple disciplines. Now, phase three of our plan is really our stretch goal, and that is to make the Andrew Wisher Foundation a nationally recognized foundation. We have a number of ideas in the hopper to execute on this, but frankly, phase three is only possible with successful execution of phase two of our plan. Our financials from year one are currently under audit, but let me share some high level unaudited results. We raised over $120,000 after all expenses were paid. We have zero administrative costs. This is a very important metric for charities and our plan is to continue with a volunteer board and volunteer officers through phase two of our strategic plan. Direct costs related to the WishFest event was less than 30% of total revenues, which is in par with best-in-class charities. In closing, we've gotten off to a great start in our journey, and we are on the cusp of doing some great things. We're going to help many, many individuals in the name of our namesake and hero, Andrew Wisher. As Jeff mentioned, we're off to a great start. Thanks to the support of our many donors, sponsors, and supporters, the Andrew Wisher Foundation has and will continue to do some incredible things for many families suffering from cancer and other disease. I invite you to join us. Join us in this mission. Join us in remembering that every day is a gift. Join us in paying it forward. Join the Andrew Wisher Foundation. Thank you all for watching, and thank you, Andrew Wisher, for your inspiration.